we run this Brett here, Lionheart 84, and it's um, it's time to uh, repot. I've decided my Syzygium smithii, that's a lily pilly. You can see these beautiful, the new growth has got this lovely red coloration to it. It's not in a particularly large pot. I only got this actually last year, and it came in about a three inch pot, so uh, only about a sort of a nine or ten centimetre diameter pot and I put it into this size last year and uh, judging by the roots coming out the bottom I would say it's um, it's probably quite uh, root bound now or at least root bound enough to go into a bigger pot and I wasn't sure what to do size wise I don't think they're particularly prone to uh, I don't think they're particularly prone to root rot problems but I'm using my very open uh, bark based citrus compost anyway so uh, I don't think it'll have any issues. So I'm going to go up quite large. I'm going to go from that size to that size and see what happens. Um, see if we can get some real growth boosted on it this year. Um, I don't know how many years they take to get to uh, flowering size, but the only way to find out is to see. So let's just get some compost into this pot. I'm going to leave it outside. Last uh, year, I left it in the kitchen all summer because it was a very small plant and I didn't want to expose it to uh, the shocks of outside growing but now it's got to the size it has now I think it'll be better off outside than inside. Uh, this one originally came from uh, Jurassic plants so it's hardly to about zero degrees but I probably wouldn't risk it outside because uh, it'd be a shame to get damage on it. Yeah, there's, um, you probably won't be able to see, but there's plenty of roots coming out of the bottom of the pot now, so I think it's a good time to get it into this more open compost. I'm going to make sure that I plant it the same size it was in the existing pot. Now this nice open compost, I've, I've actually mixed some peat in with it as well, slightly acidic, which I believe the Lily Pilly prefers slightly acidic compost. Not 100% sure about that. So some while since I last looked, but there aren't many plants that are harmed by a slightly acidic soil, uh, and the bark as well will probably be a bit acidic. But I believe perlite is slightly alkaline, so that will neutralise it slightly. So that's nicely repotted now. It's another one, another job done for the day. So that's my Lily Pilly or Syzygium smithii. It's the same family as the Java apples, wax apples, uh, rose apples, all of those, um, but slightly hardier. And I think they're particularly, uh, I think they're native to Australia actually, if I remember rightly. But um, it's got plenty of new growth coming out, so we'll uh, we'll see how it does this summer outside, and hope we get a reasonable summer. So thanks for watching the video. If you have done, much appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up. <coughs> Excuse me. You're welcome to share the video if you know anybody who might be interested. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate it and it's free. And uh, click on the bell if you'd like to get updated on new videos as they come out. I'll see you on the next video. Brett out for now.